Hello, it's Behaving Beardly here. And Happy Quacking X. With a quick tip or tutorial video for content creators out there that are using Discord. One of the most frustrating things as a content creator or a streamer is trying to communicate event or stream start times to a global audience. Today we're going to be showing you some simple coding or commands that you can use in Discord so that when you put, for example, an announcement out for a start time of an event or stream, you can put in a timestamp for your local time and it will automatically convert to local time for anybody else that sees it in their time zone, if that makes sense. So, using this system, you can use localized times in your Discord post with a number of different formats as well, including date, time, countdown, or time passed, as we're showing you right now. First of all, in this video description, there is a section titled time formats with a bunch of time formats and codes. The format is on the right and the codes are on the left. Select and copy the code for the time format that you want to use, including the angle brackets as well, and then paste that into your Discord post. For this video, we're going to use relative time, which is a countdown. Now we need to swap the numbers between the colons with the correct epoch code. Click on the Epoch Converter link in this video description and head over to the website. Now all you have to do is set the correct time and date in your time zone. So select local time and once you put the details in, click human date to timestamp. Copy this Epoch code and replace the code between the colons in your Discord post with the one that you just generated and press enter. And that's it. This should really help with the confusion of different time zones and people around the world not knowing what time your event or what time your stream starts. I know this was a very short kind of tip video today, but I still hope that you found it helpful. Obviously, as always, if you do want to see more of these kind of quick tips and hints videos, please do let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, bye. Bye-bye.